design space. I like to try to keep up on what's out there because, well, I plan on making some of these with you guys to see how they turn out. If we can get them to turn out as nice as these pictures are. So I came across the basswood coasters. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm going to check something. So I ran over to Cricut. And lo and behold, their basswood is on sale this week with the 40% discount. Well, last week, and guess what? Still this week. So I ordered it Tuesday. I'm in Ontario. So I'm going to say I'm in southern Ontario. And Cricket is in Utah. I had it in my hands by Friday. I was amazed. I couldn't believe it. But yes, we are going to attempt to make this basswood or these basswood coasters. It says here that the materials we're going to be cutting is going to be felt and basswood. Um, it gives you a list of everything else that you need. It tells you what to do to prepare, cut, assemble. So make sure you read all this. Um, I'm going to go and we're going to start cutting this basswood because I'm assuming it's going to take some time and then we'll see what happens. So just like it says to do, I've got my strong grip mat and I've got a package of my, let's get something to open this with, I've got a package with Cricut basswood, so I'm just going to open that. This comes with two sheets. Almost breaking it. Um, for the cut, I know they picked two different cuts. So I'm not sure which one I need to do. Just says search for basswood. Anyway, so this is the small, since this is two pieces, sorry, I'm just getting this open. Be very careful, this stuff is pretty fragile, I'm sure. Okay, so now, oh, these are still taped together. Oh my goodness. another one here. Okay, so we got my one piece. We got out of the way. And we gotta just take the cover off. Let me just close this for a minute. The cover has to come off, obviously, of the mat. So it's to secure the mat with tape. So I am lining, why is that so blurry? Okay, so this has got beautiful grain. I'm lining this up, I've got some painter's tape, and I'm going to add some extra security, like it says to do with painter's tape just to give it I guess and add it help I guess I don't know. but this is a brand new strong grip mat so I'm assuming it's gonna hold very well if not I'll be quite concerned okay so now we've got all this Before we do anything else, we're going to have to change our knife blade. So, there's my knife blade. Knife blade is one that has the spot sprocket, and just like that, a blade, like a knife. 
that's your knife blade for your maker. It's going in where your other blade goes. So just pop that out, put that to the side, put this in. Your machine will figure it out and know if it's the right part and it will also know if it's in there properly. So now we're going to, we've got the little white wheels all off to the right side. We're going to put that in. And I'm just going to go press start on the computer. So now with everything ready, I'm going to move you a bit closer to make sure you can see this when it happens and works. We're going to press go. It's going to check to make sure I had the right blade. Now it does warn you on the computer screen that this is going to be a long time cutting. So let's check in the blade. And it's starting to cut. So it does state that it's going to take 14 passes. That's a fair amount, but you can just go do something else why, why it's why it's cutting. And also, if you don't have a lot of detail, it won't take as long because each of those cuts or passes will be pretty quick. I can already see some of the cuts in there. So it's on its second coaster now. I do hope that I have better luck with the basswood than I did with the chipboard. We will have to try that one again though. So yeah, while this cuts, let's go and do something else for a while and I will be back. So as you can see, I've got the cuts done and I'm going to release this one. I didn't release the other one and I'll show you why in a minute. But I'm going to do it with this one. Let's remove the tape. <laughs> and lift the board. Oh, some of it's sticking right to the board. Go to the mat. So we'll lift the mat. And as you can see, there is the base layer. So I'm my mat. Here's the other ones, and we can pretty much pop them out, but I am going to go over it with an exacto knife. The problem is, is the first layer did not do as well. I did break a little piece here, but I've got it, and I'll be gluing it back on. I've been having to go over all of this with my exacto knife, which isn't a big deal because I have the Cricut exacto knife, which is this one and it's a really nice knife so anyways overall my first opinion on cutting um, wood with my maker eh, <laughs> is what I'm gonna say 50 50 because of how little it actually did and I did the 14 passes and I must have pushed the cut button again eight to ten times so, good thing the other layer cut, because now I'm 50-50. We'll have to make something else. So, let's keep going. As you 
see, I've sort of made some extra steps or went ahead a bit. All I did was I stained it the way I wanted it, which I've just done the one layer. And then I took my two layers and with just simple white glue, I have sandwiched the two layers together. And now I've clamped them just to give them a bit more pressure as they dry. Once I get this glue all cleaned up and this all dries, I will be back so I will show you the next step. Okay, as you can see I've got the coasters all ready, stained and put together. I am just going to move them a little bit as I get out my epoxy. Try this new stuff I haven't tried yet. See what I think of it. So get out your epoxy. I'm just putting on some rubber gloves. And like all epoxy, you are using equal amounts. So I'm going to eyeball it. I do pretty good so far. I haven't uh, had a problem with it. It might make a mess. Don't need a whole lot for this one. Make sure you've got um, something on the surface, protecting your surface. In this case, I'm just using a garbage bag. There, that's more than enough, I think. I also, I'm not sure if you can tell, but I have the coasters up on cups. This is so they can drip. So that was one of them. Now let's move that cup and get this one. Let's see how we do. Yogi, don't even start, please. I think we got it right off the get-go. Teeny tiny drop more. Another paper towel to clean this one up. Okay. Now that you've got those two in separate containers, you need to put them both in the same. Try to get it all out, or as much, much, much as you can. So you want to try to keep it as close to equal proportions. So that is very important to scrape your container extremely, extremely well. Okay, now for this product, I'm just going to stick this in there. It says to stir for two minutes, so let's get started. You know that's not in quite two minutes, but that is well mixed. Very confident on that one. Okay, so once that's mixed, you are going to get your coasters into place so you guys can see this very well. And remember, wherever you place your coasters, Make sure that it's okay because you don't want to move them until they dry. So all you're going to do is you're going to pour a little bit on. And 
give it time to settle in to the different layers that are there. This one you'll see, if you can see a shine, I was trying to fill in some of the gaps with a Mod Podge dimensional, so we'll see what happens. So just pour some on top of each one at the moment and give it a minute to set or settle in there. It's classified as a self-leveling, so we'll see. Let it drip down the sides, that's why you got it up on a cup. And it helps because you need to seal the sides too, so just let it drip for a few minutes. Just using the last little dribbles here because I'm not going to waste any. And that's it. Okay. Got to run and grab one thing as that drips for a moment. So what I had to go get was my little torch. I do this sometimes. Normally I use my uh, heat gun, but it's in the craft room and baby's sleeping. As you know, I usually do my videoing when the baby's sleeping. And uh, you can also do a hair dryer, I guess. But I've heard to do the torch, so I want to try it. What you're doing is you're going to remove the bubbles. So this dries absolutely clear. So you just want to give it... Oh, the torch works awesome. A lot nicer than the heat gun also obvious, awesome does. So yeah, so from now on, when you need to remove bubbles, Use a torch. Okay. Oh, that's a few more right there. Don't keep it on long as it will heat it up too much. Like usual, I can't have a video without a glitch. Anyways, so I or in this video, two glitches. Um, so my video stopped working, my phone stopped working when I was using the blowtorch, but it worked astronomical. I have my pieces, I'm gonna turn you so you can see. Right there. Drying. Um, they're crystal, crystal clear. Make sure you went over the sides and the edges as well as well as you could. Um, I wish I still could, but it's already starting to dry, see? That, that's gotten tacky. Do not touch them at all. Uh, do not touch them at all. Not at all. Instruct the kids to stay 10 feet away. Um, 
you want them to dry perfectly. That's the whole point. So leave them if you can, depending on what size, like if you just use the little shot cups, that's not going to be too high off the ground. So you should be able to find a plastic container maybe that would fit over top of them. And this way you can make sure no dust, dirt, dog hair, cat hair, whatever, um, gets onto them. So anyways, guys, that's the craft. That is how to cut basswood with the maker and how to make their project, um, the coasters. I enjoyed doing it very much with you guys. Um, when it totally dries, I will show you pictures. But until next time, we will um, talk to you later. Hey, by the way, don't forget about my affiliate links below, please. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, like the videos. Hit the the bell, the bell thingy, for notifications of all of my next videos as soon as they're released. So, um, yeah, until next time, guys, take care and happy crafting.